Good afternoon, fellow tie-dyers. I have an extra large Guild Antee long-sleeved laying on my folding table in front of you. I'm going to fold it in the X pattern. I thought you might want to see specifically how I'm getting the sleeves to do what they are doing. So first, we fold it in half diagonally, matching up the seams, shaking it out, getting all the wrinkles out, making sure it's nice and even. Pull this further towards the camera so that you can specifically see what's done to the sleeves. Alright, so. I have both sleeves lined up with their bottom seam together and the top seam together and laying flat and before I change to a quarter of a shirt with the X I take the sleeve Fold it up to where it joins the rest of the body. Now I'm going to fold that complete sleeve one more time into the fold. Now, I don't want that sticking up and out. I am flattening as much as possible. All right, now we're ready to fold it in half longwise. Now, for the last part, all right, so before I start folding, I draw a line from the very center of the middle of the front of the shirt to the shoulder. We'll fold diagonally up that line. Alright, I have my fold line facing towards me and simply start making your folds. This is very thick folds, which makes the folds have to be a little bigger than normal folds that I make on designs. I am putting my fingers underneath to make sure I get that entire piece of fabric into the fold.
getting nearer and nearer to Christmas. I made a stencil of a tree yesterday. I don't believe I liked my tree last year very well. So I made a new one. My stencils are made out of cardboard, you know, so drew one on, drew half a tree on. I will show doing a shirt like that before long. This is an order, so I'm trying to get it finished first. Okay. Get my fold line secured first. Then equal rubber bands on either side of that. I will continue putting rubber bands on to the ends. Then I will come back when I begin dyeing. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day.